Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Software can be buggy. Hardware can be buggy. And in both cases, uh, manufacturers and developers issue updates, sometimes small updates, incremental updates, sometimes just all out updates. And for content, uh, I'm no exception. Now when it comes to video, it's difficult for me to issue an update without going back and erasing the video or re-editing it. In some cases, that's kind of impossible once the information's out there. So uh, I'm going to issue a update, a 1.1, if you will, on a, a recent question that was asked in regards to quad core and in respect to gaming. A uh, community member at large uh, decided to call up and leave me this particular message, and I found it incredibly useful and incredibly helpful and incredibly respectful. Hello, Chris. Uh, I just got done watching your video on uh, YouTube about quad core gaming. You said that when you had quad core that you uh, had four CPUs. I'm not sure if you just uh, slipped up there or if you actually think there are four CPUs on a motherboard. Actually, when you have a dual core or a quad core CPU, you actually have one CPU with multiple cores. Uh, the reason for this is uh, because it helps the CPU uh, stay cooler and run faster at the same time because whenever you uh, reach a certain speed on a single core processor, uh, it wastes too much energy uh, from heat dissipation. Uh, so hopefully you can uh, make another video and clear that up because I know a lot of people have been uh, commenting about how uh, you were incorrect there. So uh, if you can update that, that would be great. Well, hopefully that uh, doesn't dissuade you. Again, I, I did misspeak, at least in, in terms of, of, of that terminology. And if you look behind me, I've got the Windows Task Manager pulled up. And as Windows sees it, I've got four processors, or CPU 0 all the way up to CPU 3. Uh, and this is the way that Windows is managing my Quad FX system. So while it may not actually be four processors, in the CPU, uh, this is the way Windows sees these particular processors, uh, or th this processor as four separate processors, and then manages the processes accordingly. What it usually boils down to, and I think to the original question, to the original point, um, there are many cases where having more than one processor visible from Windows is a good thing. Uh, where it tends not to be a good thing is when the software is not optimized. And much like software and hardware and people, uh, you can release updates to make things better into the future. So hopefully you will take this and accept this as a 1.1 uh, revision to my original assertion. Thank you for putting a finer point on uh, my assertion originally in the video. And by all means, uh, you know, extend the conversation. If I need to be corrected, correct me. Uh, I may either misspeak or I may not have my facts straight all the time. I don't know everything. In fact, I pride myself when I say, I don't know everything. Um, there are some questions that are so general, and then there are some questions that are so specific that even if I know maybe 90% of what I need to know, that last 10% uh, may be where a lot of the details are lost. And so I look to the community to you know, kind of take these discussion points as a starting point to have a bigger discussion. So, you know, if, if the topic is on quad core in relation to gaming and optimization, what more do we need to know? Where else do we need to look for optimization? What do we need to think about when we go to purchase these types of systems? Take the conversation, take the ball, run with it by all means. Don't let the conversation just stop at a point where I wasn't able to fully explain something uh, in the time that I've given to explain a lot of these things. And I try to keep the video shorter rather than longer. And a lot of these technical topics can get to be quite a bit long if I don't cut them short. So anyway, uh, leave a comment, follow up, remark. I appreciate it. Uh, whether it happens to be about quad core or just uh, you know taking in, uh, this, these ideas and extending them in terms of a community. Um, I realize there's probably not going to be a lot of discussion around this one in particular, uh, but by all means, leave your feedback. I'm always open to it. Positive, negative, as long as it's constructive. I'm good to go. And of course, you should be good to go if you come over to our chat room. We're there 24 hours a day, and, and hopefully you can swing by there and um, you know put a finer point on something else or ask for a clarification on one thing or another, and we'd be happy to help. Even if I'm not paying attention uh, to the chat room, other people in the chat room, I think, largely are if they're not talking about something else at the time. Feel free to jump in anytime, day or night. We're there, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.